Hey, what's up? This is Tech Brothers. Just yesterday, we published a video with unboxing and first review of Cubit X18 Plus. This is beautiful budget phone with 18 to 9 display, 20 megapixel camera, and latest version of operating system Android 8.0 Aurea. In this video, I want to show you real performance of Cubit X18 Plus. We start with specifications, then we look at benchmarks result and play some games. If you are interested, then let's begin. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Tech Brothers. Also, in the description you can find a link where to buy Cubit X18 Plus for $80. Cubit X18 Plus is a budget Chinese phone, so it is powered by MediaTek MTK 6750T. It is outdated chipset, and I would like it works on something newer. However, I cannot ask more from the smartphone with Pridec about $130. Also combined with 4GB RAM, Cubit X18 Plus provides quite good performance. The smartphone offers 64GB of storage, and about 55 of them are available for user. The rest memory is used for system and pre-installed apps. If this is not enough for you, then there is support for microSD memory cards. Now let's see benchmarks results. As usual, I want to start with Antutu. Cubit X18 Plus shows 55,000 points. This is pretty good result for budget phone. Xiaomi Redmi 5 has about the same result in Antutu. The next benchmark called Hikbench 4. Here you can see 650 points in single core test and 2680 points in multi core test. Once again, this is a standard result for modern Chinese phone. To test the graphics capabilities of this smartphone, I decided to run 3 Mark Slingshot. There is 133 points. And the last test I want to do on this smartphone is the memory speed. Under Bench shows 265 megabits per second of reading speed and 99 megabits per second of writing speed. For example, the flagship smartphone Yulfon U Pro has almost the same reading speed, but twice more writing speed. This is my favorite part of any review. I really like to play games on Android devices. Recently, the performance of budget phones has grown significantly, so almost any games are available for them. Nevertheless, we will try to play the most powerful games on Cubit X18 Plus, and the first one is called Riptide GP. Not so long ago, I discovered the game for yourself, and it is really interesting. It looks like many other racing games, but here you need to ride the motorcycle from the future. Even the budget phones like Cubit X18 Plus run these games pretty good. I cannot say that it is as smooth as on the flagship phones, however, it is possible to play. The next game is Lineage 2. It was a popular game on PC, and now Android users can open the world with magic and battles. It is a multiplayer game, so it is double more interesting. However, Cubit X18 Plus has some problems with Lineage 2. First, it takes a long time to launch the game, but sometimes FPS drops, and you have slowdowns. This is not critical, but still not very pleasant, especially if you used to play on flagship smartphone. Of course, I cannot make performance tests without Asphalt 8. Perhaps you are tired of this game, but it is one of the most popular games on Android, so I should test it on Cubit X18+. Plus. Asphalt 8 runs pretty good on this phone. I cannot say that it is as smooth as I would like, but it is still very good for budget phone. You definitely can play this game on Cubit X18+. Plus.
And the last game for today is Modern Combat 5. By the way, guys, what is your favorite games on Android? Write in comments below. We can play your games in the next videos. As for the Modern Combat 5 on Cubit X18 Plus, it started and it works pretty well. The graphics is good and performance is decent. Right now the price of Cubit X18 Plus is about $170, but from March 5th you can get this phone for $130 or even $80. So for a fairly low price you get a pretty good smartphone. First, it has beautiful 6-inch display with Full HD resolution and 18 to 9 aspect ratio. Also it comes with 20 megapixel rear camera and 13 megapixel front camera. As for the hardware, this is good for most Android games. I didn't have any problems with all the games I downloaded. All of them are started and I can play pretty well without breaks and errors. Thanks for watching. Hope my video was useful for you. In the description you can find link where to buy Cubit X18 Plus for $80. Subscribe to our channel Tech Brothers.